हाउस ऑफ वेलनेस पावर्ड बाय हिमालय वेलनेस कंपनी वेलकम टू हाउस ऑफ वेलनेस अ पॉडकास्ट पावर्ड बाय हिमालय वेलनेस कंपनी वेलनेस इज अ होलिस्टिक प्रैक्टिस दैट वी नीड टू इनकल्केट इन आवर डेली लाइफस्टाइल बाय मेकिंग इनफॉर्म डिसीजंस एंड रिमेनिंग कंसिस्टेंट विद आवर हेल्दी प्रैक्टिसेस वी कैन लीड बेटर लाइव्स हेलो टू ऑल आवर लिसनर्स एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ हाउस ऑफ वेलनेस Today we are in conversation with Dr. Wahid an Ayurveda expert at Himalaya Wellness Company. Dr. Wahid will be highlighting why despite being such an ancient science Ayurveda is still relevant today. Welcome to our podcast Dr. Wahid. So Dr. Ayurveda a science that is about 5000 years old and still very relevant even today. How effectively would you say Ayurveda contributes to the current health and wellness scenario? from the stone age to the industrial revolution to the current artificial intelligence era humans have progressed from being food gatherers to the ones who dream of colonizing the moon we have changed the way we live the way we think the way we act this has also contributed to the change in our health status not just physiologically but also in mental emotional and spiritual well-being all of which are essential to maintain health which is defined by ayurveda as when three energies vata pitta and kapha the digestive function assimilation and metabolism body tissues excretory functions are in perfect order with a pleasantly disposed and contented mind senses and soul so what sets ayurveda as an answer to all of these requirements is the fact that it is one of the sciences which provides us with a personalized guideline to live life better and longer thus it is in fact appropriately translated as bioscience and not just restricted to a system of medicine alone moving on what changes have you seen in the perception of ayurveda among the masses well that's an interesting question as a practitioner i noticed that a decade ago my patients would choose ayurveda as a matter of dire need of help when hopes were lost with all other treatment modalities most of these instances were when damage was done beyond repair however despite the situation I had the opportunities to witness wonders where we could contribute to the patient's quality of life being improvised as long as they further lived. Cut to the current times where Ayurveda is seen as a choice of therapy for many diseases. Would you say that owing to the pandemic people have become more inclined towards Ayurvedic solutions? Certainly yes. We witnessed a plunderage that COVID-19 brought to human population since December 2019. Not just life were lost but also the mental health and economies were thrown out of gear for many there was a need to provide preventive and prophylactic care for the masses now with time running out while the vaccines came as a boon the challenges however remained for many especially those with comorbidities and mutants coming in every other season this is when the new found surge in the demand for preventive care came up ayurveda stood up to this challenge and succeeded gracefully which further fueled its acceptance So based on your experience and observation would you say that ayurveda guidelines today need to be part of our daily routine to ensure good health and wellness Yes indeed the principles of ayurveda when applied with an appropriate scientific rigor bring about the desired results and often these are simple interventions in lifestyle which include food sleep and habits primarily these are referred to as traya upasthamba three sustainers to healthy living We would love to hear your views on Ayurveda as a medical science and what sets Ayurveda medicine apart. Well, when it comes to therapeutic interventions or medical treatments, a set guideline provides directions to utilize therapies and medications. What sets the science apart is its holistic approach towards encompassing body, mind, senses and soul. It is essential for the physician to treat the individual rather than addressing mere signs and symptoms thus a personalized treatment is always arrived at ayur genomics is one such ambitious project to understand the categorization of an individual based on these three energies that is vata pitta and kapha next in line is the selection of medication that addresses safety and efficacy along with quality which are often where challenges are posed with the integration of modern technology and pharmaceutical grade practices for producing medications one can expect safe and efficacious products coming to the last leg of this interesting discussion 
where do you see ayurveda going forward well that's definitely a question worth answering ayurveda today in its right direction will hold the key to delivering a much needed efficient primary healthcare system while also providing optimal support to manage non communicable to communicable diseases integration of medical sciences is definitely on the horizon going forward thus in contrast to the perception of ayurveda listed as an age old traditional science but it is a science that shall remain contemporary beyond space and time thank you so much dr wahid for a very insightful session and a big thank you to our listeners for tuning in every week with this episode we conclude this season of house of wellness a podcast powered by himalaya wellness company we hope this session has helped our listeners and motivates them to take charge of their life Reach out to us if you have any questions. Visit www.himalayawellness.in and drop your queries in the Ask Your Experts section with the hashtag House of Wellness. Details are given in the description of the podcast. House of Wellness, powered by Himalaya Wellness Company.